arguments have often been made by highly educated elites as to whether Nigeria is a third world country or not. Many of the positions that Nigeria is economically, politically and technologically inferior to the Western advanced countries. How can a continent, or indeed a country that is the source of raw materials for the West, be termed as third world or inferior? As presidential aspirant Dumebi Kachuku rightly puts it, our debilitating challenges are man-made. Most Nigerians in positions of power display an inferior state of mind and lack the creativity to birth the full potential of our country. Nigeria is blessed with human and natural resources to take the country from less developed economy to developed economy, but she lacks the quality, empowerment and sustenance from her government. In his presidential declaration, Mr. Dumebi said, If we desire efficient and effective education, healthcare, utilities, etc., we must make it available to all so that we may all equally benefit from it. We must resist the wicked urge to take on sovereign debts that benefit a few but repaid by all. We can no longer borrow to build bridges and highways that lead nowhere when the internet is the highway of the future. Borrowings must satisfy the criteria of commercial viability while providing much needed basic amenities. We therefore need governors who understand that the internet is the highway of the future. As you build roads, you must build critical broadband infrastructure. We will make broadband available and affordable for all because this, this is the only leverage our kids have to compete in the new world. Should he become president, Mr. Kachuku's government will invest massively in power and telecommunications, but he won't stop there. His government will also support the state government and private sector to focus on in-state distribution. Nigeria has a seasonal and temperature variance that can support other sources of energy, including solar energy, wind energy, amongst others. This will help it combat the issue of poor power supply. How will work with the state governments on a plan that sees the federal government investing in national trunks for power and telecoms, while the state governments and private sector participants focus on in-state distribution? We will harness all sources of energy to provide power to our people while giving preference to clean energies. Nigeria has seen an overwhelming migration of her human capital to foreign countries in search of security, good jobs, health care, amongst others. Providing constant power supply will boost business activities across the country and there will be no need for these rural urban migrations. This is a narrative Mr. Kachuku is committed to changing. We must replan our cities and build up modern infrastructure so as to reverse the rural urban migration that threatens the most of our communities. It makes no sense to allow the brain drain occasioned by the migration of the middle class when all they seek is security, jobs, good and affordable homes, healthcare, constant power, etc. I'll make this a standard in all our cities.